Hi, I'm Samia from Okta Sales Engineering team. And today I'm going to walk you through how to set up a custom HTTP connector to Google Workspace. You can use this connector to call any of Google Workspace's APIs and perform specific actions within the application. As you can see here on the screen, we already do have a pre-built connector to Google Workspace or G Suite with a number of actions you can perform in the app. But today it's restricted to certain scopes and permissions. And if you want to expand that to all of Google Workspace's APIs, you can use this guide as a workaround to create your own custom HTTP connector. To create a custom HTTP connector, log into your workflows, Okta Workflows admin console using your super admin credentials and navigate to connections. Click on new connection, look for HTTP connector and give a name of your choice. In the auth type, I'm just going to choose OAuth as that is what Google allows for authorization. And we need to fill in all of this information before we can create the connection. For the sake of convenience, I'm going to move to a different tab that already has some of this information pre-populated and work from here. The authorized path and the access token path information is already given to you in the documentation that is shared along with this video. So you just have to paste that information here. For scopes, it depends on what actions you wanna perform within Google. In my example, I'm going to create some Google groups and alter permissions within those Google groups using these scopes. If you have multiple scopes, you want to perform multiple actions within multiple APIs, you can always give multiple scopes and separate them with a space. The next step is to give the credentials, the client ID and the client secret. And for this, we need to perform certain configuration on the Google API console. The link to the API console is also in the documentation. So you click on it and log in using your admin credentials. Once you log in, you will land in this page. And we need to perform a few steps here before we can get the credentials and go back to Octa's workflows. So the first step is to create a project if you're not already within a project. So create a new project and make sure you're within the project for the next few steps. So once you're inside the project that you just created, we're going to enable APIs that you want to talk to, create the OAuth consent screen, and the last and final step is to get the client ID and secret to give it back to Octa's workflows. So for the first step, you click on enable APIs and services from the dashboard, search for the APIs that you want to enable. Here, I want group settings API, but since I've already enabled it, it says API enable, but in your case, you would see an enable button. Click on the enable button and enable that API. Go back to the dashboard here. And the second step is to create that OAuth consent screen for your Okta Workflows application. Click on OAuth consent screen. Since I already have the app created, you see an Okta app here. But in your case, if you do not have an app, you just have to click on add application and then give a name for the application that should be authorized to talk to Google Workspace and choose the user type as internal because it's going, going to be used for your internal employees. So once you give the name and choose user type as internal, you would be presented with this screen to build the OAuth consent screen. Here, um, I. I just gave my admin credit, admin email address that I used to log into the API console as a user support email. And when you scroll down, you would have to enter Okta.com as the authorized domain because that is the domain from which Okta's workflows would talk to Google Workspace APIs. The next step is to just enter your email address as developer contact information and then hit on save and continue. So in this screen is where you define what specific scopes you want to perform your specific actions within Google Workspace. You click on add or remove scopes, enter any scopes that you want to include in the consent screen. And once you add to table, it will appear here and you just have to select that specific scope. All of the scopes that you need are detailed, are available in detail in the Google Workspace documentation so depending on which ones you need, you would be able to add it here. 
for my specific example, I just need the apps.groups.settings. So I've added that. And once I hit on update, it would be updated in the screen. Once you have all the scopes defined, hit on save and continue. It would show you a summary screen and you're done with building the OAuth consent screen. The final step is to create credentials or the client ID and client secret to give it back to Okta's workflow screen. For that, you navigate to credentials, click on create credentials and OAuth client ID. Here, you have to choose web application as the application type. You can leave the name as default and you would need to give a few URLs here. I'm going to cancel out of this because I already have a client ID created. And again, this information is present in the document that's along with this video. You would just have to copy these values and paste it and paste it in this screen. And once you paste it and hit on save and continue, you would be presented with this client ID and client secret. Now, these are the credentials that we need to give back to the Okta Workflows console so that the Okta Workflows as an application to, can talk to Google APIs. I am going to copy this, paste it in the client ID and client secret screen. And once we have all of this information set, the create button appears. And in this case, when you click on create, it would open up a new tab and show you the consent screen. So in the consent screen, you can see the scopes that are specifically being requested and you can just hit on agree and continue and it would come back to Okta's workflows and you can use that connector to perform any actions. In my case, since I've already consented to it once before, it, it's not going to show me the consent screen. So if I click on create, it will redirect me to the consent screen because it already has a content consent. It would come back to my Okta workflow screen. There you go. So the Google Workspace connector in my instance is created. And again, in your case, you would see a consent screen. You just have to agree to the agree to the consent screen and the scopes that you requested. So once you have the set, you're good to go. You're able to create any kind of workflows and use that custom HTTP connector. I already have a test workflow built here and the flow pack for this is also available to you along with this, um, along with this video. For this, it's a very simple flow. I'm just creating a group within Google Workspace and I'm calling the specific API and altering the permissions of that group to say all members can post within that group. So for this, I'm choosing the new connection that I just created with Google Workspace. And I already have the, the body of the request given here. And this is just a schedule flow for me to test it out. And I am going to change this to a different email so there are no conflicts. So once you have this set, I'm testing this. So it has created a Google group saying G Suite test six and that Google group permission has been altered using this. So now all members within that Google group can post messages to all other members within that group. Now, this is just an example of how you can use this custom HTTP connector using specific scopes and depending on what APIs you enable on Google API console, you can perform a number of actions within workflows. Thank you.